The Atlanta Falcons are still alive for NFC South crown at four and six, but they might have a bit of a quarterback controversy brewing. Before we get into that, drop us a like. Make sure you subscribe to catch us talking sports every day and drop a comment like my guy, Ken Richards, who I agree with. Who <laughs> I, we both believe Tua is the runaway, the heavy favorite to become league MVP this yeah, season. We'll see but... about that. There's still that man in Kansas City. I don't know. <laughs> no doubt about it. No doubt about it. But... Let's get into the topic at hand, man. Let's Desmond Ritter or Marcus Mariota, drop us a comment who you think the Falcons should roll with the rest of the season. But, Logan, I'll toss it up to you, my man. Who do you think should be the guy under center for the Falcons? Uh, yeah, the rest of the way? I definitely understand that they're pushing for a playoff spot. They yeah. have one game back from Tampa Bay. Correct. I understand. Don't rock the boat too much, mm -hmm. but they kind of got to go with Ritter at this point. Mariota, okay. you've seen everything you're going to see from him. He's not going to push you guys much further. And to be honest, this team, if they make it to the playoffs, they're likely one and done. Like, you're not oh, making yeah. a Super Bowl push. Fair. Think to the future. Fair. Don't don't try to jeopardize your future on one season just because you don't want to hurt a guy's feelings. And Ritter, you have to see what he's got. If he isn't the guy, let's say, this year and the next year, you have to draft somebody. You don't want to draft the guy and find out that Ritter was actually the perfect guy for the job, you know? So yeah. I think getting him on the field is significant early. He had the best record for a college quarterback in yeah, he history yeah. with a 44 and six record. And I mean, he does everything Mariota does and maybe even better at the younger age. He is dual threat. He can run a little bit just like Mariota. You'd still have the ability to just hand off and then you get the rapport with guys like Kyle Pitts and Drake London. Hope. So, I mean, I think it would be good to just get the young gun in there. You're not making the Super Bowl. Look <laughs> to the future and just go on and put the guy out there. They're not making the Super Bowl. That's not a debate. But again, as I mentioned at the top, the Atlanta Falcons are still live for a playoff yeah. spot in a very no weak denying. NFC. And again, they're still live for NFC South Crown. We expect Tom Brady and the Bucks to win that. But at this point, at four and six, the Falcons are still alive for that. And with that being said, you can't go to a rookie quarterback at this point in the season. I understand the Marcus Mariota, to your point, we know what he is, right? Yeah, he is what he is at exactly. this point in his career. But that isn't necessarily a bad thing. Now, I understand last Thursday in the rain in Carolina was a very bad showing for Marcus Mariota. Some of the past attempts that he put up through the air in, in the, you know, in the way of danger was just something that you just can't have from a starting quarterback in the NFL. But nonetheless, Marcus Mariota has been solid this season. He's top 10 this season in QBR. Um, and obviously, you mentioned it a little bit. What he does with his legs is something that this offense just needs. I don't know if Desmond Ritter can do that. Sure, Desmond Ritter is... He can Ritter do it is, a little bit. Is, is, is <laughs> he can do it a little bit he's, a, he's athletic. You know, <laughs> he's not, you know, a statue in the pocket whatsoever. But again, Marcus Mariota, even as he nears age 30 or even right. surpasses age 30 he's still i believe more of a threat with his legs than desmond ritter probably yeah. ever will be but look at the falcons they're going on a downturn right now they've lost the last two games it should be four straight but yeah. dj Moore decided to throw his right. helmet into, right. yeah, that was into loss, the right. field and so i mean yeah. that's technically the three out of four losses instead of four straight so mm -hmm. i mean that kind of saved their season a little bit there for sure but i mean this team is just not talented enough to Make a big push. I don't no. know. I don't think they're necessarily going to catch up to the Bucks. Maybe it's a little bit of the refs' fault down in Tampa when they got that <laughs> phantom, phantom roughing the passer. But Very I true. just don't. I, the Tampa Bay is going up. The Falcons are going down a little bit. I just think yeah. it's. I'd lean with the young, the young gun, and just look forward to the future of the yeah. next season. Again, I'm not. I'm not. <sighs> I'm not against Desmond Ritter at all. I think he's going to be a good pro, and I'm excited to see when he finally does get his opportunity. But that doesn't mean it should be this week or anytime soon because, as you mentioned, there's not a lot of talent in this Atlanta yeah, roster. That's true. And putting yeah. somebody out there maybe before he's ready just because, you know, Marcus Mariota isn't a top-five quarterback in the league could end up being a mistake. Now, Marcus Mariota does need to get the ball to Kyle Pitts and Drake it's London Kyle more Pitts. and Kyle more Pitts accurately. Specifically. A exactly. In a lot of these targets, Kyle Pitts is getting targeted, but a lot of his attempts not, are not inaccurate right. and uncatchable. So that's an issue. That's something that Desmond Ritter could possibly help with. But again, at this point, until Marcus Mariota plays himself out of that job, which I don't see that he has, or until the Falcons are officially out of playoff contention this season, I don't want to see Desmond Ritter. I don't think Falcons fans should either, because as you said, yeah. it's about the future with this guy. You don't want to rush him in too early and have him ruin his confidence because as we've seen this season, how are these other rookie quarterbacks been? I don't uh, think Kenny Pickett's <laughs> doing very good. I don't think Malik Willis is doing very good in this yeah. limited stint. So, you know, you want to be cautious with these guys. 
And I think that's the approach the Falcons should take here, Ritter. Yeah, but they definitely have those weapons that they really need to use and build yeah. and get yeah. that collaboration going. No I doubt. just think, you know, with his ability, his record in college, you have to at least see what you got and look at yeah. the future. And there's that record in college. Kind of speaks for itself, man. But that's going to do it for us, man. Let us know about this fascinating debate. Should it be Ritter? Should it be Mariota here moving forward for the Falcons? Drop us a comment. Let us know. Thanks for watching. Feel free to check out our other videos and don't forget to smack that subscribe button down below while you're at it. Also, for more great and original content, head right over to bbmsports.com.